that people aren't throwing that in my face every 10 minutes. Long. Lost his last eight starts. Last <gasps> night he completed 12 passes, 13 if you count. This one to DeMar Hamlin. Here's Trevor and Doug Peterson. I need to be, play really well for us to win. That's the NFL. Quarterback has to play well every week um, to give yourself a shot to win. And, you know, don't feel like I've done that consistently enough. So, I, you know, I put that on myself and um, I got to play better. There has to be changes, whether it's play design, uh, personnel, everything. Everything's on the table, let's, let's call it, right? And, and those are all things that we have to, you know, um, I have to look at, we have to look at as a staff and, and, and make, the, make the adjustments. <coughs> Excuse me. What did he say? <laughs> everything was 21 passes, not 12. He did say everything. Trevor's last eight games, uh, winless, completing less than 60% of his passes. Just 12 touchdowns, 11 turnovers, passer rating at Yeah, below, worse below than 80. mid. Worse yes, than, I used to say mid as mid. Yeah. a bit of a factual insult. Mm -hmm. I never realized it was actually a compliment. Uh huh. Go ahead. <laughs> What's the question? Does Jacksonville have a Trevor Lawrence problem? So the only reason we would talk about Jacksonville is because of my affinity for Trevor Lawrence. And so it would be – I would not be living up to my obligations to talk shows to talk about their real problems, like that they have the worst defense in the NFL and the numbers back that up. We can show it to you. I mean, it would be nice. Force a turnover. That would be nice. I agree with Doug Peterson that everything should be on the table, including the first ever midseason coaching switch where Belichick just takes over. Shotgun, tell Bill he can fire Doug personally and Bulky. They another, beat, beat him in a Super guy Bowl and take over. The, I, and so, I, it, it, so while I think a lot of the problem is the terrible defense yes. and bad coaching and press Taylor, we're here to talk about Trevor Lawrence, who I don't know how it has gone this badly, this quickly. <laughs> <laughs> we have not fun. seen them in a long time. I, was this, this you, Wallace? Not, it's not me. Just, I'll tell you that this much. This is you? I think they just, it, Talk about adding insult to injury. Wow, that, <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Always great to see you guys. I usually feel that this way. I just wild. can't believe Wilds it's unraveled like this. Because I, I'm say, for, also shocked. For for whatever it is, is bro, like? here is here is an accurate telling of where we were ten months ago. Ten months ago, we were a few months removed from Trevor leading this team to its first playoff victory in a half decade. Correct. They were sitting at eight and three, pun seed and playing to lock up the first back-to-back -back winning seasons for this franchise in 20 years. Ten, since that night, we had just done the show from Los Angeles that day. I know because I watched that game from an L.A. casino before catching a red eye. And since then, they haven't won, mm. and he's been awful. So that, that pick to DeMar was Terrible. as bad as no pressure, wide open, Big spot with. I know he's better than that. I think everyone knows he's better than that. Yes. Now, will he ever be the prince that was promised the way I believe he can be? Right now, I believe he can be. I have no way to prove it to you. But it is uh, to go from where they were, an ascending team coming off a good season, sitting at 8-3, and three, to never winning again, except for a game he missed with injury to the Panthers or whoever the hell they beat, yeah. is unfathomable, bro. It's unfathomable. He's broken. Broken? He's broken. Now, he can maybe be fixed. He's broken. That, there's no fixed, other explanation for it. No, broken things can be fixed. Yeah. You can't blame this, obviously, on Urban Meyer. You talked about the defense, Doug Peterson. Doug Peterson's won a Super Bowl. They got a decent receiving court. They got a good running back. I mean, they, this is on Trevor Lawrence. I don't know where, why. I'm with Nick. I never was as high as Nick on him, but I didn't foresee this. All right, look at this graphic. He has declined. Now yeah. look at these no, rankings. He's, he's had a terrible 53% complete. This isn't 1974. I mean, that's that type of number. I mean, the passer rating, look at these, the 25 it's through awful. 30. I mean, there's and he's getting worse. Gee whiz. What That's why I said he's broken oh because goodness. he's getting I, worse. Gee whiz. 
What should the Jags do? I don't have any. Don't do it, Wilds. He's one of the worst quarterbacks I right now. No you know. <laughs> 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 well, you. Uh, <laughs> while Wilds is talking, can we just play Mac Jones's highlight from last night? Well, this can one, we please? Because Wilds is going to advocate that that this guy who he abandoned left on the street like a kitten he didn't want anymore, <laughs> and, and that he should uh, take over. Is that what you're going to do? I'm saying this, Doug Peterson has been through the gauntlet of having a franchise quarterback looking him right in the eyeballs and saying, you know what? Sit down. I'm going with the backup. Okay. I, we're not doing And then that. next thing you know, Doug Peterson was getting Bellas, a Gatorade bath. Bellas, can you play us When off? Bill Belichick's on the other sideline. Wow, Philly special. <laughs> they have wow, made my whole career because I decided to go with the backup. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Are you... S- on the board. Oh. Touchdowns in the first half. My goodness gracious. Here he is post game. One game at a time. Um, you don't win. You don't win a Super Bowl. Get into the playoffs with three games, and I think this team understands that. Um, like I said, we'll we'll watch this film and put this behind us as quickly as we can. And you know, like I said, we have a, a really good team that we're going into, and um, you know, we got to be ready. Check in on LeBron James. Who I took to Twitter saying, I really like watching Josh Allen play football, a little football. He's always had a little Magic Johnson in him. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. Yeah. Uh, do the Bills look like the best team in football? Okay, so everybody knows I believe the best team in football is the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. I also think people think they know what I'm going to do today. Brew was looking around for yeah. it. Uh, people awaiting Absolutely. a September Champs I banner sent it to, to be one. dropped on their yep. head. Or for a roller coaster graphic yeah, those to are pop good. up. And that's because people incorrectly think I'm a Buffalo Bills hater. I am not a Bills hater. Okay. I am a Bills soothsayer. Oh. Oh, wow. I have been correct... <laughs> When everyone else has been wrong, Mm -hmm. and that includes this year, when everyone at this desk, save me, picked someone else to win the Bills division. When everyone in the national media said, Bills are going to be taking a step back this year, and I said, wait a moment. And so today is not a day where I am going to do the usual tricks for a usually overrated Bills team, because that's not what I think we have at hand. Instead, I'm going to tell a very quick story about a football team and see if it reminds you of anything. A legitimate Super Bowl contender that never gets blown out, ever, and then in their biggest game of the season in the playoffs gets rolled by multiple scores. Comes back the next year even better, thinking, all right, this is going to be the year Mm -hmm. we make up for that. And then in a home playoff game to an arch rival, loses by three points in heartbreaking fashion. That offseason trades away their best player. The media cools on them. And that superstar quarterback responds by winning the MVP, by the team leading the league in points, and winning the Super Bowl. I just told the story of the 2020 to 2022 Kansas City Chiefs and maybe the 2022 to 2024 Buffalo Bills. Now, I do not think that the Bills are going to beat the Chiefs come playoff time. I do think that I would like to amend what I said yesterday, that there's only one good team in the league. I think there's two. Oh. And I think that it is not an overreaction to say the Bills look like one of the two best teams in the league. It is not an overreaction to say they have clearly right now the second best quarterback in football. And much like when the Chiefs traded away Tyreek Hill, coming off back-to-back devastating playoff losses, a blowout in the Super Bowl, heartbreaker to Cincinnati, and the Bills Trade away Stephon Diggs coming off getting blown out by the Bengals and a heartbreaker to Kansas City. Sometimes a great player at that position 
can raise the water of everyone else. So 